we had to put an eight foot grind rod in next to our pole in order to uh, get electric service. And the eight foot grind rod, if you just grab and start on it, it's up above your head, you don't have any leverage. So we started by digging about a four foot post hole using a post hole digger, but our ground was very rocky and had a lot of chert and clay in it, and we couldn't we couldn't get a good grip. So we got what we could, then we poured about a gallon of water, and then we broke it up with a tanker bar. And then we just alternated you know, tanker bar, let the water soak. I was like, you ain't got to get all, he's like, I'm having fun. That turned out okay. to be the best way of going about it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's time for more water. I'm good. This is CrossFit functional exercise holy I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's going on this right here. I don't know what happened in the twelve too. Is it in the box? Once we dug down about foot we were able to start using our uh, pile driver, our post hole driver, and uh, that was a lot of fun. As we beat it down and the uh, pole got deeper to the ground, eventually we couldn't stand up anymore and we had to actually kneel in front of it. And then it came to the point where that did work either. After a while, we went to sledgehammer beating on the, uh, the post hole driver. And then it got to the point where they didn't work either. So we had to just hit on the... Uh, Ground rod well, we to the Now, when you do that, you have to be it careful to drill out so far that the, uh, the knuckle that it's bolts on, the, the brown rod connector, uh, so it can slide on. And maybe it might be worth to put it on in advance. Uh, we didn't do that. But, uh, so we, we held it in place with uh, the post hole digger handles. And then it got to the point where, where it was too far down even to do that. When that happened, nobody wanted to volunteer to hit the... Uh, to hold the ground rod, so we just did it freehand, even though that wobbled a bit. Now you're supposed to get it to grade. Our inspector wanted the uh, top of the ground rod to be below grade, but uh, we just kicked dirt around it to make it look that way. But you can't cover it up until the inspector comes looks at it. Uh, once all that's done, it's time to wire it up, and that's the subject of our next video. All right, and uh, all this worked pretty good because we passed our inspection on our first time, which uh, pleased me uh, to no end. All right, so stay tuned for our next video on dualhomestead.com, or you can subscribe on the Dual Homestead channel on YouTube. Thank you very much.